What's going on everybody? The Original Mako back and if you couldn't tell from the title you can probably tell by the soundtrack in the background we are back with some more Vampire Survivors and today since there was a new update pretty recently I'm going to be talking about how to unlock this new character and exactly what this new weapon does. Um, the unlock process is uh, similar to others where you have to find a coffin and open it. The problem is the coffin is not very straightforward to find uh, because it's not really right at the spot on the map that it tells you to go and the new weapon has a little bit of nuance to it it's not too crazy but i just wanted to go over it and um you know hopefully help you guys with so a little bit of the new content i'm gonna be making videos on the new arcanas soon as well as um the other new upgrade that happened with the cats the cats got an evolution so probably gonna be going over that as well um, but this is probably the biggest thing from this update is this brand new character. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. And as always, be sure you check the links down below. I might be streaming right as you're watching this, honestly. Um, so hop on over to the Twitch channel, check it out and make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you don't miss any of the vampire survivors content. Thank you very much. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, when you're trying to unlock the new character, you're going to have a question mark on your map that will take you uh, probably somewhere about up here. Um, and it's on the right side of the map. So it'll take you to a spot that looks identical to this on the map. And you're going to be looking over here because the question mark is right like by where that fireplace is. And then you're going to be going and you're going to be like, well, what in the world is well, I can't get in? What's going on here? Uh, there's no coffin. Well, that's because you don't actually go directly to the question mark. You find where the question mark is and you head directly over to the left. And there will be a mirror that is like glowing and whatnot. Uh, if you go in that mirror, it'll take you to a little separate realm, separate dimension. Uh, and you can find the coffin in there. So... It took me a while to figure this out, and actually, I, I was running around looking at that question mark for like five minutes before I was like, what is going on here? And stumbled upon the fact that the mirror was glowing, and then learned that you have to run into the mirror. So, if you're trying to unlock the new character, that's how you do it, that's how you get there. Um, and then once again, you have to. there's a coffin surrounded by guards, you have to kill all the guards, and then open the coffin. So, pretty similar, uh, just a little bit harder to actually find... I don't know why they did it that way, maybe just to add a little bit of, you know, unpredictability into how characters are going to get unlocked in the future. But regardless, once that happens, you will unlock the character that I'm currently playing as, Con Con Conchetta, Con Conchetta? Uh, who has this rad guitar here, um, and her passive ability is, every level, uh, she gets plus 1% AOE, so one, plus 1% 1 area. So, similar to some other characters like Pangala, who gets Might, uh, Papea, who gets Duration, and the other one that gets Projectile Speed, which I forget what it is. But, you also get this new weapon called the Shadow Pinion, and essentially what it is, is, as you can see, I'm summoning these little drills behind me that will stay in place and deal damage in that area until you stop moving the second you stop moving they will all fire in whatever direction you were facing when you stopped moving and will pierce through enemies and um you know travel a certain distance and uh, i believe are affected by projectile speed so they'll travel just a little bit faster um it does have an evolution as well. The The weapon is evolved with the wings. Passive. And... My initial impression of this weapon... Is that it's really not very good at all. Um, obviously, you know, having to completely stop to fire them is a pretty big crutch in in vampire survivors you don't want to be stopping very often you want to be pretty mobile so having to fully stop to use the weapon to its full ability is already a little bit kind of frustrating uh, not only that though the 
uh, upgraded evolved version, which I'm hopefully going to try to show you guys here, um, is also really just not good. And definitely not good enough for me to, to consider, be like, yeah, this, this is a good weapon. You know, I would use this. Because it's, it's not. I don't think it is a good weapon. Uh, and it's really unfortunate because anytime you see a new weapon, you get really excited. And as somebody who does, like, high kill games all the time, I start thinking, oh, can I use this in new high kill runs? Like, is this going to change the meta? Which is always exciting to think about. But this weapon, I can assure you, will not be changing the meta in any way, shape, or form. But you can already kind of start to see... Uh, this character's effect taking place with these rune tracers because yes we do have candelabrador at like level four but these rune tracers are huge <laughs> even for uh having level four candelabrador they're still giant so um this character is super fun to mess around with once again the weapon itself not a big fan of however the character i am a pretty big fan of and, I mean, overall, she's pretty good. She's not, like, gonna go crazy or whatever. Um, at least for me, in terms of, like, my high kill runs, she's she's not very viable for that. But, she is super fun to mess around with because you get something like, you know, you get Labora rolling with this huge AoE. You can have screen size Labora. You evolve the Fire Wand, and then all of a sudden you have these ginormous fireballs on your screen. Like, like, huge. Uh, and it's fun to see how high you can actually scale your area with this character. So, a fun character, I think, in my opinion. Just not a great weapon that you, unfortunately, would get kind of stuck with when you pick her. Um, I'm hoping we can get wings here so I can show you guys the upgrade, but... Or the evolution... But we're not getting lucky. We still have five minutes, I guess, to get it. So it's not a huge deal. But yeah, some of the other up <laughs> updates in this in this update were pretty pretty fucking crazy. Uh, I had a run yesterday when I was messing around with new stuff, where I finished the run with one hundred and ten thousand gold. A hundred and ten thousand, which basically means that like i i feel like they have to add something something that you can use your gold on after your max like power ups because if i'm able to get that much gold and do absolutely nothing with it then what's the point point? and you can only get that much gold once you're like pretty late game because you have to have certain things but st it's st still <laughs> like i feel like they have to add something uh, but I'll, I'll probably post that run tomorrow if I had to guess. Because the run was absolutely insane. Okay, this is actually getting a little bit wild. I'm going to start banishing some of these other passives. It's not like the wings are very rare. <laughs> They're fairly common if I had to say so. That's not even the direction I wanted to throw those. Oh, hey. I just had to complain a little bit. Easy peasy. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think this character's fun. Uh, we're not going to do any updated tier lists yet. I usually would like to wait until I have at least four new things in each category. So like four new arcanas from the last one, four new weapons, four new characters. And so far, I think we have one new character, two new arcanas, two new weapons. So maybe like one or two more updates potentially. We'll see. I'm still super excited for the, the summer for this game because um, when they port it to a new uh, new engine, A, the lag is going to be basically gone. B, they'll be able to hopefully have a mobile version ready, which, I mean, I'm not, it's not a huge deal for me. But the big thing is, I believe the creator of the game said he was porting the game to a new engine with mod support in mind so there's like there's a chance i don't know if it'll be ready by this summer 
because he said, you know, it's hard to get a game mod support before the full release is even out. But there's a very, very good chance that in this game's relatively near future, there will potentially be some mod support, which is super, super exciting. Because mods for this game would go absolutely crazy. A relatively simple game like this, with a huge community full of, I'm sure, very talented people, would be absolutely insane for this game. And there would be really, really good mods that are being put out every single week. Like, it would be nuts how good mods would be for this game. So, I'm really excited for that when it happens. Alright, we got two more minutes here before we get the 10 minute chest. And we can evolve it and just show you guys what the evolved version looks like. Um, once again, it just doesn't, it just does not do enough for me to be like, yeah, you know what? I really want to use this now. Maybe the starting version's not great, but man, the evolved version's great. It's just so bad having to constantly stop to get a full use out of your weapon. It causes a lot of unnecessary damage. I will say it is easier. Uh, I'm not doing it right now because I'm being lazy, but it is easier to use this weapon if you if you're on mouse and keyboard and you use like mouse movement, like the smoother movement like this. Because then you can like exactly angle your shots to where they want to go as opposed to on the WASD, it's much more difficult, like you can only move, you know, the diagonals are a lot harder um, to hit. So if you are planning on using this weapon and want to use it as effectively as you can, I would say the best way to do that is with the mouse as opposed to the... WASD. If you're on a controller, it's not really an issue because the controller has the smooth movement by default. So, whoops. I kind of meant to grab the axe there. That's awkward. It doesn't, it doesn't. Once again, I'm, there's 30 seconds left before I, you know, show off the upgraded version and then end it, so. Not really a big deal. Also, I do like, so in the new update, they added a thing where you can change the music to be exactly what you want. Like you can use any of the special character music, you can use any music from any stage, uh, you can use any version of that music, normal, hyper, whatever it is, which I really, really like because this game has a couple of soundtracks that are just bangers, such as the Gallo Tower one, which I'm using and I use like all the time because it's so good. But being able to choose your music music for each stage is a really nice touch. I, I, uh, I'm a big fan. All right. Let's see what she got for me. I totally whiffed all those. Oh, there we go. All right. So, should be the upgraded version. Perfect. The little blowtorch here. The Valkyrie Turner. Uh, they're bigger, longer, faster, stronger. Work it harder, make it better. Do it faster, makes us stronger. Um... And you'll see, you'll start seeing them. They're ginormous fireballs now. And when you shoot them, they turn into like lasers. Um, which, on the surface, it looks pretty cool. But once again, you're still having to consistently stop to get the most use out of it. And, not to mention that once like you get towards end the end of games, enemies start getting a little bit beefier. These do not one-shot. They will not cleave through these enemies like you're seeing here. Which is a really, like, they they do a decent bit of damage, but not nearly as much as I think they should. Uh, considering the fact that, you know, you have to be constantly stopping to even use them fully. But yeah, this is kind of what they look like. Um, I guess the, the, honestly, the biggest part about the upgrade is the fact that they, you know, move uh, a little bit. They don't just stay in one spot, they move, so you can still use them even if you're not stopping to shoot them but once again you're not getting the full benefit or effect of the weapon and i think it's just a you know 
I just don't think it's a great weapon, in my opinion. But regardless, once we have a new tier list, eventually I'll, you know, put them on there and hopefully we'll have had a little bit more time to mess around with them and maybe we'll have changed my mind. Who knows? But regardless, that's it for this video on the new weapon and new character, how to unlock it and how to use it. But yeah, that should be it for this video. So I'll have some more content on the new update very soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please check out the links down below. I would really appreciate it. It helps out a ton. But thank you guys so much for the support as always. Hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of your faces and I will catch you all in the next video.